give shout outs a big hand. I don't know if he's had it. Um, Charles did something amazing for me uh, several years ago. Uh, he came and got me. Uh, and he wanted to beat me up, but he sized me up and figured he couldn't do that. So he decided to just educate me. And, and, I, and we went to a little, a little restaurant in the back, and he just beat me up with his words. But then after that, he started to educate me in the community. Uh, and it's been a very fruitful experience. And about five years ago, he invited some young people to my office. He came to me and said that there were some kids throughout the Detroit public school system that were being harassed, uh, being beat up. Uh, because they were gay or lesbian. And he asked me to have a meeting with them, and we brought all of those kids down to my office. Uh, and in that meeting, it was transformational for me because I did not know that it was that kind of bullying going on. Uh, I'm a big guy, but I've never been a bully in my entire life. And I didn't really realize that that was going on. And so I want to thank him for that. I didn't thank Jonathan Davis for picking up the mantle and having a place for young people, young brothers especially, to come and feel okay. And after going, please give Jonathan a big hand. After going through what I've been through over the past month, uh, being, feeling okay is not overrated. You, you really want to feel okay. You want to be comfortable. You want to be sane. You want to be safe. You want to feel loved. And, and I just thank you immensely. When I look at the young men that stood up here, uh, you can tell that there's a new sense of pride that's been developed in all of them. And having them dress and come here sharp and putting them to work and making them clean up and stuff, I like that. Uh, but it also says that we can wrap our arms around everyone in our community. Reverend Sheffield, thank you for what you do. Uh, you don't know how much scrutiny this man takes for standing in the pulpit and saying the things that he says, and I just want to thank you. Uh, as well. and, then, and then, of course, the two people here, Mayor Brenda Lawrence, I, I call Southfield, it's the capital of Detroit. And so that is my mayor, uh, Mayor Brenda Lawrence, uh, who does a tremendous job nationally in the U.S. Conference of Mayors and here in Southfield. And Dave Coulter, his good friend is a guy named Dave Woodward that I work with for a lot of years, and he, he told me some secrets about him, but as I look ar around the room, I should not say those things. And so, uh, but Dave has been an amazing force in Oakland County, but also around this region. Um, I mean, John, excuse me, uh, uh, culture for, I mean, a lot of different things. Um, 12,000 people went through our health department this year to be tested. 12,000 people. It'll be more next year. There are 8,000 people in the nine counties that they call the Southeast of Michigan region um, that are infected with HIV that we know about. Because it's a different number than the number that we can document and the number we can. But there are 8,000 that we know about. Out of that, over 5,000 of those cases are in Detroit that we know about. And so if we as a community don't stand up for our children, for the issue of HIV, we may very well not have a city, a region, or a state in the future. And so it's that critically important that we drop all of our egos, we drop all of our old ways, we open up our arms, open up our minds, and really start to engage this issue in a way that we never have. We just won an award, a national award in the city of Detroit for what we've done with HIV AIDS, and along with that award came about $14 million. And so it's always good to win an award. We spent, and just to show you how much better it would be for us, we spent about $6.5 million this year on HIV and AIDS and the Detroit Health and Wellness Promotion. And so now we can go to the next level with really going through with creative programs. And now hearing what Empowerment is doing, what Jonathan is doing, I want to play to Jonathan and Empowerment, that I need you as a partner. One of the problems with a lot of the programs for HIV and AIDS is that we can't get to the people that we're really trying to get to. And when you're on the street, when you're above Nikki's Pizza, when you're in the hood, when you go to the different places, you know exactly what we need to do. So we need you to help educate us as well. So we'll continue to reach out to you. Thank you for supporting this event. I will give a donation since I didn't get my red top picture. When the red, my scheduled red top picture was the day all of this stuff broke, so I casually had to cancel. Uh, and so I want to get my red top because everybody look all hot. I want to do that too. So God bless you all uh, for being involved in this effort. And thank you again, Charles and Michael. Michael did an
incredible job as well. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, when I uh, picked up the paper, I said, oh shit, we're not getting our picture. <laughs> I want to uh, acknowledge uh, the mastermind behind tonight's event, uh, who just happens to be the love of my life, and uh, who has worked really, no, oh, shut up, <laughs> who has uh, worked every day, driven me crazy. Uh, I thought I had a drill sergeant in the house uh, for these last couple of weeks. But uh, I must say that uh, the fruits of his labor have turned out beautifully. Uh, please uh, give a big round of applause for Michael Matthews. Thank you for coming. Um, I really don't like to be in the forefront. Um, HIV AIDS is something that is very close to my heart. Um, my parents have just adopted a little girl, and we found out that she is HIV positive. She was born with it. So the struggle against HIV AIDS, the prevention of that, is extremely close to my heart. And even before um, the adoption process, just the overall health of my community is, is we have to stop this epidemic. So I will be working every day, every hour, to the nail, to help, to do everything that I can to stop it. And thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you all are in the audience for, for being a part of this. This is my first event, so I'm so excited and I'm so thankful that you all support HIV AIDS prevention and the Red Tide Fair. I will see you all next year. Thanks, babe. At this time, uh, we would like to uh, bring up 